Hello, my name is Dr. Amit Patel. I'm a sleep doctor and the medical director of the Sleep Center at Virginia Heart. I would like to explain to you what is involved in a sleep study. Getting a good night's sleep every night is vital to cardiovascular health. Adults should aim for an average of seven to nine hours. Studies show too little or too much sleep is associated with heart disease. Finding and treating sleep disorders, such as obstructive sleep apnea, has been linked to reducing your risk of a heart attack and stroke while also improving your quality of life. A sleep study is a non-invasive test that electronically records activity in the brain and body during sleep. It is frequently used to diagnose sleep-related conditions such as sleep apnea, insomnia, and restless legs. Obstructive sleep apnea, abbreviated OSA, is a common condition where there is a partial or a complete cessation of airflow during sleep, causing your breathing to stop and start repeatedly. The common symptoms of patients with sleep apnea are those who snore loudly or feel tired even after a full night's sleep. Both in-home sleep testing and in-lab sleep testing can screen for sleep apnea. A home test is a limited form of sleep testing and may or may not be right for you. In-lab tests will take place during one night in one of our accredited sleep testing centers. In preparation for your study, you will bring with you a two-piece pajama set and an overnight bag with essentials. Bring any nighttime or morning medications and take them as you typically do at home. The study is conducted by a certified sleep technologist who will guide you through the process. We make every effort to ensure your experience is as comfortable and inviting as possible. Your private sleep room will look and feel like a hotel room, including a sleep number bed and a television set. Don't worry, our technologists are very patient and will allow plenty of time for you to acclimate to the new environment. Honestly, in our experience, patients sleep more than they expect to. In-lab sleep testing involves multiple sensors. You will have leads on your head to look and monitor for sleep stages, a sensor on your nose for airflow, monitors on your chest for EKG and breathing rhythms, and an oxygen monitor on your finger. There will also be leads on your legs to monitor for movements. I know, while this does sound like a lot, most patients tolerate the monitoring just fine. Remember, it is important to gather all this information so we can assess you properly for multiple sleep disorders and diagnose you effectively. Depending on what the technologist finds during the study, we may try to treat you that night to see if it helps your process. This could involve placing you on a continuous positive airway pressure or CPAP device, which many of our sleep apnea patients finds cures their problems. Once you have completed your sleep testing, you will follow up with one of our board certified sleep providers to review your results and discuss the next step. It is common for patients who have been diagnosed with sleep apnea to be recommended a CPAP machine. This used to be very bulky and uncomfortable for patients, but the technology has come a long way. They are now smaller than ever. And there are alternative treatments available for patients who cannot tolerate the nighttime machine. In addition, it is important to consider lifestyle modifications when we discuss sleep apnea. I've seen many of my patients reduce or eliminate their need for medications and devices by modifying their lifestyle and reducing their weight in a healthy and sustainable way. Virginia Heart is proud to be on the forefront of sleep medicine interventions. Our most important priority is the improvement of the patient's overall quality of life. We work as a team with each of our patients to assess their needs and find a solution that works for them. I'm Dr. Patel with Virginia Heart's Sleep Center. Thank you for watching.